Hi, I'm Petra from Stavebnice and today I would like to tell you more about new component and module I found out recently and it's called Map Locations and it lets you create maps like these with the um, company um, uh, sh stores and so on and you can see that you can put the info in the bubble and this map is quite live so you can zoom it and move it like this <coughs> and this uh, extension has a, a component and a module so I'm going to show you more about this and you can buy this uh, at it's in ex it's in extension Joomla org but you can buy it at fiverr.com under map locations it costs uh, five dollars uh, each component and module so you need to decide how we want to use it uh, in my case I'm using it as a here is as a um, page uh, menu and here I use it as a module because I want to use it with another compon component which is uh, FAQs that show the stores uh, like this so I had to uh, insert uh, the map as a module so I could put it on any location and position so uh, when you buy the component and the module there are separate files and you just uh, regularly uh, install them through extensions manage install that's easy uh, you don't have to do anything and then the component appears here in components map locations and here you have to create maps so we have this map partner shop you can create new one and the title and decide uh, the map style I, I use uh, the default Google Maps style and I already have this map created uh, you can have categories that, uh, but there is only one here and then you can uh, start put adding places like this I have these and I I'm gonna show you how to add a new one so I have it ready here somewhere okay I want to add a store that is in UK so I know its title and then the rest I want to put it uh, hold on when I enter part of the address right here it already offers me something in USA which I don't want so I will continue with Edinburgh and also already knows where it is so this is uh, what it shows on the map and now you can add uh, a custom text here uh, maybe opening hours or um, phone numbers and so on like me so I think I'm gonna oh I'm gonna just copy this info Oh, here it is. You can just paste it right here, or you can do whatever you want with the HTML. Like 
like this and we can modify it by here. Maybe just make it one paragraph. And we make this a link. Okay, and then we just, we can use default settings for this window only if you want to add something else, like uh, more images or something like that or use a custom marker you can do it so here i don't need it at the moment so i just uh, save the place um, map is required uh, i did not select partner shop right here and i save it so i just edit a new place on my map and when i refresh the page there should be one in uk right now it works. So this is uh, how you set up the com component, uh, the maps. And then now you need to uh, use, uh, for example, a menu item right, like this. Uh, I have it uh, unpublished because I don't use it, but I have it uh, set up right here. It's a it's tab map view. So when it, when you click like this and you find map location you select the map view and there are options so you also select a map that you want to sh uh, show if you have categories you can do so you can set a uh, size of the map on this uh, page right here in pixels and you can also set up if you want to see street view or not because it uses google map and the rest is just uh, like regular menu. So this is menu item. This is uh, what only displays, uh, it displays the map on a page in the menu. But if you want to place the map into an article or use it uh, somewhere uh, on, in some position on the, on the website, you can use a module which is here uh, it's map locations module you need to buy it separately for five dollars and you just install it then you add new module uh, of this type and i have it ready here also so again there is a setup uh, that you select map that you want to show category map width and height and where you want to show it and you also set up um, a position and now the most important thing uh, some time ago um, google maps um, started requiring uh, api key so you need to create an api key for this map to work um, this api key is entered here under settings like this, these two, you need to create two API keys and here you set up a, a global configuration for the map if you want to show it on in some specific uh, dimensions. You can also set up um, the zoom, which means if you want to, uh, to uh, show the map closer or zoom out to see whole Europe, you can select a marker and those are just some additional settings you know, enable zoom map type and so on and you can also enter custom uh, styles right here and now let's uh, see how to create uh, the maps api key there is a, actually a great, um, great documentation for this module that you get with the module and I'm going to show you in it uh, where to find it. So when you open the, 
documentation, it looks really nice. You will see that it basically has anything with uh, pictures and so on. And you will need to go to chapter 7 that describes how to create the RP key. Right here. And there is also a address that you need to go to to create the epic key. So I just open it here and you see that there is a dashboard and so on and you click create project right here. I have already created it but we create a new one. this uh, then you just enable API and uh, you need to create several oh there is there is a list here uh, you need to uh, enable Google Maps JavaScript API which is right here just click it um, I have it enabled here uh, for this project, but when I select the new one, right here, then I will have to enable it. So this, yeah, you just click here, enable, and you do this with all the apps that are required. Uh, Google Maps Street View. I go back. Google Map Street View Image API. Again, you just enable it. And then on these pages, uh, Google Maps Geo Recording uh, API. Google Map Geo Coding API like he, like this. Can enable and Google Static Maps API. All right, so all four are enabled. And now we create credentials. Like here. And we create credentials. We click on API key. And we get the first API key that we need. So I just copy it, close it. Because you need two of them, uh, you just want to put them somewhere. and then create a new one and again copy it and then when you have two separate uh, set, uh, API keys you just go back to the website settings uh, in the component right here and right here and you replace these like this and then uh, it starts working because when you just install it and don't have these the map will not show, so that's what you need to do, and then it just works uh, sweetly. So that's all, and thank you for watching, and if you want uh, to see more videos for Joomla and VirtuMap, then just subscribe to my YouTube channel, and see you next time.